My name is Rukshana and I came for this meeting because I am currently fostering a child with intention to adopt. Um, the adoption panel is a cross-section of different professionals. They're social workers, they are um, government officials, they are um, probation officers and basically what they do is they assess a parent's ability and suitability to actually take on a child. Absolutely, single parents can adopt um, as long as they adopt a same-sex child. It is important to actually, uh, first of all, be sure that the prospective parent is actually understands what they're taking on, they understand the implications of what they're doing, that they're ready and they're actually prepared. Because it's very easy to be passionate about adoption, but if you don't have all the information, sometimes it becomes a bit difficult. So it's actually important as you go through the assessment process, you have certain questions answered, and also you actually have an opportunity to decide whether it is something you really, really want to do and something that you're actually ready to do and what you need to do to make sure that you're the best parent for this child. From the time I started getting my documentation together, I think it took me about seven months to the time that I actually faced the panel. I felt it was a very long time and of course I was anxious for so many reasons, but then I thought of it in the sense that when you're expecting your own birth child, you literally wait for nine months. So it wasn't that much of a big deal. But of course there's anxiety that comes with it. And at first it was a bit uncomfortable because it feels a bit intrusive because so many questions are asked. And I think during the process of actually engaging with the social workers, you actually begin to ask yourself certain questions as well. And you get to the bottom of why you really, really want to adopt, which I think is really important because when it gets challenging, it's important for you to look back to why you really did what you did. Um, people have different reasons for adopting. Some people adopt because they cannot, they're not able to have their own birth children. Some people adopt because maybe they grew up in families where um, they saw other children being adopted and they just want to help. But personally, I adopted because I really, really wanted a baby and I don't want to have a baby out of wedlock. But also because I think for the longest time, I actually just felt the need to take on a disadvantaged child and make her my own. I think I would like to say there are no costs per se involved. You don't have to pay money to anyone to actually adopt, seriously. I think the only, no, actually there are no costs involved. If I recall properly, then they actually, you don't pay money to anyone. There are basic administrative costs, like when you have to go to the probation office and stuff like that, but there are no costs involved. Um, relatives are contacted because when you take in a child, she becomes part of a family. So it's actually important for the home where the child is coming from to actually be sure that when, they, when you take in this child, they'll actually be accepted, they'll have a home. Because we, we are Africans, we grew up in a society, it's not just me and my baby, it's me, my baby, my sisters, my brothers, my uncles, my aunties. So it's important that they actually get involved as well so that they, they walk the journey with me and the baby actually feels like they're part of my family. But I, I can tell you why I decided to keep my daughter's name as her first name and then I give her middle name, which is what I call her at home. I think it's because I want to be able to maintain a certain level of continuity. I want to be able to take her back years to the home and she can actually relate with the kids there as Diana, even though I do not call her that at home. Because it's nothing to be ashamed of and because it is best for them to actually hear it from you. But I think it's also important that the parents appreciate and understand that there's nothing wrong with actually adopting. And I think some of the challenges that parents have with telling kids is because there's still the stigma related to adoption, but if you're comfortable with it, then it'll be easy for you to actually do. And I think it's good for the child to actually know that, fine, I was adopted, you may not be my birth parent, but there's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't make me any less of a good baby.
it's been an amazing journey for me so far and I'm looking forward to watching my baby grow. She's one year, three months and 27 days today and I got her when she was four months and it's, it's been exciting and it has changed my life.